What's going on, trading card game players? Figs here with Figs Form, bringing you guys some more Phantom Knight content. So we got a new ban list. We got some new cards off the ban list. We got some new tools and stuff to mess around with. And of course, we're trying our best way to make this as degenerate as possible. So I've been brewing um, all day, pretty much, uh, not all day, but for most of the day, uh, you know, messing around with some of the cards on the ban list, taking a look at different stuff. Now, mind you, I didn't play when Colossus was around, so I wanted to definitely try and see what I could come up with. Um, yeah, I found some pretty cool things, especially with the Nemesis engine. Protos also came off the list, which is pretty crazy because the same way that we're basically, uh, you know, uh, utilizing Colossus is the same way that we're pretty much going to be abusing uh, Protos as well. Just with some different ways, but I mean, Terra Top at three is absolutely huge. In my opinion, uh, the card was already great just starting most of your turns, but having access to three and you'll see why I say having access to three. Is absolutely nuts. I mean, just in like 90% of my replays, just having to reset my hand just to avoid seeing a Terra Top so I didn't make the combo as easy so I can show you guys in different ways. But I've got a bunch of different replays here for you. I wanted to go over with you guys just to showcase the different combos. Um, and I will share a deck list shortly. Um, you know, I tend to like to share my deck list in person as I'm not a fan of Dueling Book, but because I don't have access to the cards and the list is new, I wanted to go ahead and uh, showcase for you guys what I had came up with. So uh, let's go ahead and go over the one card combo with Speedroy Terra Top. It allows you to set up a pretty good board. So we'll just do a quick fast forward. Terra Top and Itake Tomborg, Cherubini. We're playing Graph and Sir because it does allow us more consistency in utilizing this combo. Um, Shade with the Stained Greaves gives us a level four to get our search for Nemesis Flag. Nemesis Flag gives us our Corridor. And then Corridor will get us into our... Um, Colossus. So the reason why we use SP Knight in this situation is because we needed an additional card banished for Corridor. Um, so you are able to pretty much, you know, use the two, make SP Knight, banish a card, and then use Corridor to summon for uh, Colossus. So yeah, I mean, one card combo gets you Bardiche, a two, um, you know, Tuna Gate Apo, as well as the uh, Thunder Dragon Colossus. So pretty good. Uh, I think Colossus is actually a pretty insane card. It's dark, which is oddly enough, it can be an extender. So like if you're playing into a board, I mean, obviously Colossus isn't great because of his effect, but uh, you know, if you have Corridor, you open up Corridor, you have a Nemesis flag, you can actually summon them, tribute, like, tribute him because he's the thunder and actually make a dark and then dark charmer, Bardiche or something, you know, so it's cute, but one card, pretty solid. Um, you know, that's obviously just one card. So um, yeah, so that was the first replay. Just want to showcase that for you guys. We'll go into the next one. Um, this one is basically the same combo, but with other cards. So um, yeah, I'll go ahead and fly through it. Spiroy Terra Top and Ataki Tomborg. Uh, because again, I opened up that and again, shuffling it over and over again, I was trying to find a way to avoid it, but it's better to show you guys a full combo anyways. Um, our adventure package. So we're going into that as well. We opened up the Foolish. So Foolish and Adventure just basically means that we have a free Cherubini, free Adventure package. So depending on what you open makes this quite easy. Um, and I am max maxing out with this build three uh, right and three Water Enchanters just to ensure that we're, you know, getting access to both. But as you can see, Foolish into Graph, Graph into Sir, gets us Cherubini, gets us Apo. And then we end on Double Fog Blade, Colossus, Apo, Wandering Griffin Rider, and yeah. I mean, it's just the thing with this combo, too, is that, you know, because of the amount of space we have on board, we actually are unable to go through our combo line with any of our other Phantom Knight names. So we're not able to make break sword, pop it with Bardiche, get out IP. Uh, I mean, that sets up a couple inter interruptions in itself, technically like two to three. But I mean, this is strong. Uh, I mean, having access to three negates and Omni as well as Colossus and our Fog Blades is pretty, pretty good. Um, I mean, if you do happen to actually negate with Griffin, you can actually make IP uh, as well as do your normal Phantom Knight stuff. You're just one uh, slot basically short from being able to do so. So in the event your opponent does try to hand trap you and you have to negate, well, you can actually go ahead and do other stuff. That's actually the great thing about this combo too, is that if you are nibbed, um, you know, you have access to everything in Grave. So in this situation, I didn't set everything up because obviously, you know, we didn't need to, but... You know, you'll see later on uh, in the other replays that, you know, you'll have access to other stuff in Grave just sitting there. So, you know, it's very difficult for your opponent to actually try to nib you because of the amount of just free, you know, cards that you're getting uh, just off of this. So, uh, yeah, that was that was the full combo for that. 
then we'll go ahead and showcase the protos. So I'm actually not mainboarding protos, or at least I wouldn't, just because of the fact that um, you know it's kind of hard to just summon that card and know what your opponent is, assume what your opponent is playing. Um, so what I'm doing is I'm actually siding it. So what I would do is I will keep Protoss in the sideboard and then side out corridor for Protoss because the same way you make that combo is the same way you're getting to Protoss. The only difference is you have to do a couple different things to uh, basically set that up. In this situation, we're gonna pretend like the Protoss is not in hand. So I'm gonna do the full combo because like I said, I shuffled many times and between seeing like the Terra Top and an Arc a Nemesis card, it was just very hard to, so. We're just going to pretend like the Protoss is a random card. We're going to go through the full combo so I can show you that we have the resources to do so. And then I'll show you actually another combo after this without the Speedroid Terra Top. Because I know that's one thing that does play a huge part in summoning Protoss is having the additional um, attribute. Because the deck is very heavy in darks and we have an easy access to fires now, uh, uh, especially with uh, you know how we're doing this line. So... Wind is very important, or at least another attribute is important. So Water Enchantress can easily, you know, get sent to Grave, um, or we have access to Terra Top and other stuff in our action deck. So again, fast forward to this as well. We have Foolish, so we get access to both Right, uh, our Water Enchantress Adventure line, as well as the Sir and Cherubini. Uh, Sir for uh, Cherubini and Sir, yeah. Um, but yeah, same thing as usual, special, special. Uh, you know, that, forgot to summon the Griffin, summon it after, go into Bardiche. Uh, Bardish sets it up. So again, we're pretending like Protoss is in the deck. So we're going to our link, our XYZ, searching flag. Flag is going to search Protoss, link those off for Apo, and then banish the three. So I banished four on accident. But as you can see, wind, fire, dark, uh, and we have access to what we need. And then we, yeah, we pretty much end on a Protoss Omni with three, um, you know, marker Apo, which is very strong considering. Um, yeah, so we'll go to the next one. And like I said, this one, um, I'm going to show you guys, I shuffle multiple times to try to get, you know, Terra Top out of my hand. But as you can see, it's pretty obnoxious for some reason. Again, it's at three now. So you're going to see it all the time. I had that and Protoss did it again. The seen the nemesis flag. And I said, no, we'll find a regular hand. And I didn't. So something a little more regular, see two level threes, water enchantress, perfect to showcase this. So right token, faithful Griffin. Do our normal adventure stuff, discard, special, special, Cherubini, Graf Sir, Bardiche, bring back the Sir. So we're gonna, I'm gonna show you how in this situation, uh, I forget to banish the fog blade at this point, but I banish it later. Uh, but yeah, making Levier is pretty much how we do it. So because the Phantom Knight names all banish a hundred times for their effects, we have just infinite banishment, uh, mon banished monsters. So we're able to pretty much get through all the Nemesis stuff very, very easily. And as you can see, yeah. We do our full combo with Protoss, IP, um, Apo, Griffin. And again, it changes based on what you open and what you what you open up. I mean, as you can see, I still have two cards in hand. So Super Poly and Tactics. Um, and again, everything's in Grave. Because we started off our line with two PK names, we never have to use any of this. So at any point, if we get stopped or slowed down, we just have massive gas. Like, we just have access to everything. And the great thing is, you know, a lot of in this format, a lot of the omnis were hit. So being able to have a, a end board that has access to an omni plus multiple interruptions is just really great. Um, you know, we've got a floodgate here. Colossus is primarily a floodgate. Uh, you know, we have our omni for Griffin, which is easily accessible in this deck. IP Apple. And I do like the Apple. I think the Apple could actually be switched out if you really wanted to for the Nightmare Griffin. Um, that's actually a solid one as well. Just put it here in the middle because Colossus isn't an activated ability for his uh, continuous effect of stopping your opponent from adding cards. So it doesn't need to actually point at it. It only needs to point at cards that try to activate. So, I mean, technically you can, you know, put stuff wherever, you know, to make sure you have, you know, everything working, but yeah, I mean, you put, you can put it here with Apple or, um, IP and then have like Griffin here if you really wanted to for in the middle. So that way it's being pointed at and yeah, it's pretty solid. So, um, yeah, I wanted to go ahead and showcase that for you guys. That's pretty much what I've been brewing, um, you know, with some of the stuff that we've gotten on the ban list. I thought a little bit about messing with Malicious, but uh, I'm not a fan. I mean, it's, again, Armageddon Knight is a, is a commit, especially if you're trying to play Armageddon Knight. And since we don't have an easy way of dumping Malicious, it's very difficult. Destiny Fusion is really the only way, and it locks you, so it's not the greatest. Um, and I don't want to commit to an Armageddon Knight because that normal summon is rough. And on top of that, we lose our access to Adventure Line. 
Um, but yeah, in my opinion, Terra Top is was definitely a huge give because as you can see, all of these lines and combos are really, really strong just because of the fact that we have access to a free body without even committing to a normal summon. I mean, all these combo lines, aside from when you see your PK names, you see a Terra Top, you don't ever at any point to finish your board have to commit to a normal summon. So ideally, anytime that you get stopped or slowed down and you have the additional cards to keep playing, you just keep playing, um, you know, and like I said, everything just sits in grave. So if your opponent happens to, you know, stop your stop you before you get to Abelouza and they nib you, well, you have access to, to pretty much, you know, go and make your IP or whatever else. So, yeah. So wanted to showcase that for you guys. That was my take and my strategy, of course, or my formula for the deck. Definitely jump in the comment section below. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, any transformations or suggestions you guys might have in regards to different lines or combos. Uh, you know, or anything else that you guys think might work for this line specifically, definitely jump in and let me know. Uh, but as always, like, subscribe, and I hope you guys appreciate the content.